Alrighty everyone, I am Brendan TA from the Altus Life Forums and today I'll bring another tutorial and this is to cover licenses and making new car shops and garages as well as trying to duplicate shops on the map to say you want it in more locations. Okay, so we're going to start off with the licenses first. Um, basically, once you have the Altus Life Master, you go on your EXTDB build, you see, okay, the Altus Life, this is the mission PBO, go in there. Go into the core. Okay, open up that file. You'll notice something like this, pretty much. Um, that's not all the files we need. We need about all these files. So once you get the configuration.sqf, you go into the config folder here, and you're going to need license price, license type, var handle, and var to string or var to str. All right. Once you have all those files open, it is very quite simple to add your own license. Okay, you'll scroll down in configuration.sqf. You scroll down approximately to line 165, where it says life underscore licenses. And note, it may not be on that same line. Okay. So when you want to add a new license, first of all, you have to add a comma. Commas are very important um, because if you miss a comma, the whole file won't work, and then hence the server can whole not work entirely. So it's very important you get that comma if you're adding a new license. So then you put your first brackets, all right, then you put quotations. Now, what I recommend you do, since you're new at this, I, rec I recommend you copy the line above. Highly recommend it, just because then you know you have a license that works. Okay, then you remove the comma for the last part. Not necessary, but I do it anyways. So um, I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a passport license for civilians, okay? So you have license underscore civ. Now, if you want it for medics, you want to have underscore med. If you want it for cops, you have it to have it underscore cop, okay? So life underscore civ underscore, and this isn't the actual name that will show up. This is just what is going to be throughout the files. So I'm just going to put passport, okay? I'm going to save that. Now, we're going to go into license price up here. All right, now, again, what I recommend, copy here. Now, this one has a semicolon instead of a comma. Just make sure there's a semicolon at the end. Okay, now, this has to be exactly the same thing, passport. Remember, this is not what will show up in the game. I'll show you what, what line it exactly shows up in. Okay, we go to license type. Now, if you're going to make a new license here, just be sure you have it over the default variable, underscore variable, or var. All right, so make here, remember, this still has to be case passport. Remember, like I said, do not change it whatsoever or keep it similar. Do not change it just because you'll think that that is what will show up in game. I recommend keeping it all lowercase and easy to spell. Okay, go down here, do the same thing. Okay. Okay, passports. Make sure you change this as well. I almost forgot about that. Alrighty. Okay, now you go to var to string. Now, not just there yet, but just basically do, keep doing the same thing. Make sure you do it right, though. Make sure you do it accurately. Make sure you don't, like, change any of the code really necessarily. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where you'll have... Let me see where the license is in here. Our licenses in here? I don't think they are, actually. Yeah, no, they're not. Okay. So you won't need var handle. I don't know why I have that open. But um, basically, here is when it'll show up in game. So you see lockpick. Or no, not... These are just your inventory items. Don't touch those. You go down here, you see... I think you'll see this. If not, just look for license. And you'll see... Um, these are all the names that show up in game, where it says SWAT, or it says Rebel, or Truck, or Diamond, or Copper. That, like, that's the only thing it says. So mine's just going to be called Passport. And make sure this, though, stays the same throughout the rest of your code. You know, license underscore civ underscore passport. Once you've done all that, that's it. That's pres Alrighty, so once, you've done, once you're done editing all the files that I just showed you uh, how to edit, um, you'll just simply copy this. And you will paste it. If you go to your documents, you go to Armor 3. Now, you may not have this other profiles, but since I'm using another profile in Armor 3, you probably will have this. You go there, Brendan, user saved, and paste, and go into mission. Sorry about that. And then you paste it, and it should end up there. Alrighty, so then you click load on the map. Alright, so 
you have your basic default map here. You click the textures up here if you want to apply textures to the map. Alrighty, so you're going to see all these random, these are basically the NPCs all throughout the map. So we made that new license called Passport, correct? Alrighty, so we, if we go into Kavala Square, and wherever the DMV is, I believe, if we go like this, set the editing mode to that, and then we can see where all the NPCs are. Alright, so then we click this guy. Now you see all this random code in his initialization. Uh, <laughs> initialization and you'll be like well where do I put it okay so here's the easiest way I can see to do this um, and I know you can just edit the mission.sqm file complete like just through there but that time sometimes could jack it up so I like to do it like this I do this highlight all this this add action was inside driver call live function variable driver call by license driver okay so I tried civilian, and I stop right there, right before the nuller. This add action. Once you've done that, copy that, and we'll go all the way down, and you'll see here. We could just paste it, and basically, you just type in your license name. So, this is passports, K, and he's buying the buy license, passport license. You know, basically, you just got to change all these to Passport or whatever you called yours. I don't, you know, whatever. I don't know exactly what license you're going to be creating, but that's what you change it to. Okay, Passport, Passport. Everything has been changed now. Click OK. So that, basically, that is how you add a license. So they can buy licenses at that guy now. Um, also, too, when you go into the license price config, you'll need to change the price as well. So if I go back to the license price here, you'll see Passport, you can change the price right there. And that's what will change in the shop. Now, as for Rebel, as for like the Rebel app posts and stuff like that, they have, if I'm correct, they, see, if you wanted to, let's say, make a special shop where someone had to have this license to buy stuff, like the Rebel license, you need to have a Rebel license. Um, you would do, you know, this ad action, Rebel Market. Let's say we're just doing, we'll do the clothing shop. Yeah, all right. So you do this ad action, Rebel Clothing Shop, clothing menu, Reb, false, false. And you go pretty much right until right there. Make sure you include the semicolon. Right before the null or this ad action. So you copy that, you know, say whatever I want, you know. I'll show you guys how to add more, you know, uh, clothing shops in this tutorial as well. But basically, click paste, you know, and you name that. That's going to be in the scroll menu. When you scroll in the guy and it says, you know, Rebel Clothing or whatever, yeah, you'll have to add that. Um, and then you'll see here, life license underscore civilian underscore rebel or civ. So you change that to passport, you know, so basically saying they need to have a passport license. And another thing you need to do as well is you need to add the buy license command to Rebel. Like, so you see how you can buy a Rebel license right here? Let's see. This add action call. You can see, and basically, buy license, you know, and it has the same code from the DMV. So basically, when you go to the Rebel guy and you scroll on him, you can click buy a Rebel license or Rebel training, and then you can just start buying from him right off the bat. So you will need to copy that code I showed you previously. But in case you're looking for it here, it'd be this at action right, right there. That's all the code you need to copy. So basically from that at action where it's talking about all of this right here, where it says the var to string, rebel, license price, number text, buy license, and all that, all the way from this at action to that semicolon, you need to copy that, and you can paste that. And basically you can create unlimited licenses and stuff like that, but of course that increases server load. So that's basically how you add a weapon or clothing shop. Um, as for like a vehicle garage and stuff, let's say you, you know you wanted to move this garage, right? You need to just basically go like that. So select that, select that. Hold Control by the way, select both. And if you want, select the icon as well. Control C. Um, I think it's Command C maybe for Mac users. I don't even know if Arma 3 is available for Mac. If you are a Mac user, I don't know. <laughs> but basically, let's say I wanted to, yeah. Let's say I want it in Neo, okay? Let's say I want it right here, okay? Control-paste. Now, you can't just do that. 
you will ha you can now of course you can do this because then you get all this of course right but you will have to edit it in just a second here so you can you know you can click on the guy you know you kind of rotate him around so he's facing the right right way move the garage icon don't move it right on top move him to the side um, click the civilian and you'll notice right about here life underscore garage underscore spawn point equals and it says car underscore g underscore three so let's change change this from underscore three to neo all right and you'll also have to do and just basically just change that to neo okay well if you do you will have to do this you will have to change the name you cannot copy and paste you'll have to change the name to something of your choice but when you change the name to something of your choice you'll have to go to here and change the name here from instead of underscore three or whatever it was to neo so that then now if you store vehicles or take out vehicles they will spawn here instead of some other random spot in the map so that's how you add vehicle dealers and stuff like that as for rebels you can pretty much copy these guys but if you're copying a rebel vehicle shop remember to change the name just like we just did um, Besides that, really copying ATMs, that's the same thing. You don't really need to worry about that. Just copy the ATM, you'll be fine. Um, DP points. If you were to copy a drop-off point, you will need to change it in the configuration.sqf right here. See life underscore DP points. You will have to add any extra points or delete any. Keep the, That's very important, by the way. Um, besides that, I can't really think of anything else I guess that you guys would really like to know oh yeah that's right for clothing mm. really honestly if you were to create a new shop um, I would just copy like Bruce or something I'd copy that file like I literally just make a duplicate and then rename it instead of underscore Bruce I'd rename it to just like you know let's say you're making a uh, Say you're making a donator shop, even though I don't really approve of that, but let's say you're making, you know, like a donator shop, you know, for like a donator license, or I don't know, really, maybe a vigilante, okay? You know, you don't score vigilante and stuff like that, and, you know, you open that up. Um, just make sure in the NPC it requires a vigilante license, and basically, yeah, you just add in the class name. If you want a name to show up in the shop, you can just put it that, otherwise you can just leave it, and it'll put the class name default, and there's the price. Add commas if you're going to add more. That's very important. Otherwise, your whole shops or your whole clothing will not work. That's pretty much it. I uh, can't really think of anything else right now. Again, if you if, there, if there's something I missed or something's not working or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, post in the comments below. Make sure you try to follow all the steps. I know I kind of jumped around a bit, but try and make sure you, you followed all the steps in this tutorial. And I guarantee you, hopefully it should work. Uh, again, if you have any other suggestions, any other things you'd like to see in, the, in my tutorials, please comment below. And uh, that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.